nine-year-old boy hands police a bag of drugs that he said he found under his mother's nightstand. Mother arrested. Hey, man, I don't, I don't know if a black kid would do this, but shit. Let's look at the video. A child hands a police officer a bag of drugs. Well, thank you. So we were called to come check on your son. A second police officer tries to comfort him. What's up, little man? What's what's going on? Hey, I'm Officer Hanson. What's you scared? What's going on, man? What's going on? Do you want to take a do you want to take a seat on the bench? He's got my phone in the bathroom for like an hour. This is the boy's mother, Kendra Long. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> well, you just handed it to me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So this is how the hell you don't know what that is and they got it right in front of you? And it's drugs, lady. Is your child? This is my baby, yes. He's been in the bathroom for an hour. Okay. Literally an hour. Cool. The child had FaceTimed his father while locked in the bathroom. The parents Whoa. are divorced. The dad called police. He was showing Tony this stuff that he found in the house. I don't even know what that is. Well, I don't either. The other officer, the yeah. nine-year-old boy who's in tears. And what did what did you find inside the house that, that, that made you scared? Okay. Do you know what drugs look like? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let's take some two deep breaths. He says he found the drugs under his mother's nightstand. I just saw a couple bodies. I was curious. Mm -hmm. Pour it out and then... I knew what it was. Damn, Jim. Like TV and stuff. What? Like you thought like maybe there was drugs from like yeah. TV and stuff. Yeah. Officers examined the drugs. Yeah, that's that's a lot of meth. Wow. Yes. It's not just like a little baggie, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's, it's it's like one of my top five, you know, in my twenty year career of of meth hauls. I can honestly say, after twenty one years, this is the first time that a kid's walked out with twelve pounds of. Meth in a baggie and handed it to us. If that is meth in the other. Talks to the 12 pounds. That ain't look like no 12 pounds of meth. I ain't gonna lie. Even though I never saw meth. That ain't look like 12 pounds. Y'all know we gotta read the comments though. Gotta read the comments on Talks this. Talks to the nine year old boy. Somebody said nigga already in a four <laughs> <laughs> trying to feed your little soft thigh you snitching nah for real though man dad said he gonna get custody one way or another <laughs> uh, hey that's what I said black kid would never <laughs> so we're not gonna talk about how she got probation for 12 pounds of meth yeah, that's crazy. That boy gonna be the police when he grow up. Shit, he already there. The daddy planted that and set that up. Ain't no way. <laughs> Son and dad set mom up. He wanted to live with his dad. Dad wanted custody. Son, dad, I want to live with you. Dad. Mom won't let you find her baggy lo her baggies. Lock yourself in the bathroom and call me, son. Dad, I have her baggies. I'm in the bathroom. Okay, stay there. I'm calling the police. Don't come out until they get there. When you hear them run out and hand them the baggies, son. Okay, Dad. <laughs> hey, that seems valid though. That seems valid. Not gonna lie. Only white people would do their mother like this. No cap. She was selling that for you. To live a good life and you snitch on your own mother? Who's raising these kids these days, man? Obviously the mother. <laughs> Let's continue. Michi Dialo. Whoever that is. Formerly known as Rachel Dolezal. Loses teaching job after her OnlyFans page was uncovered. Bro, what's up with these teachers, bro? Like, just quit and be a hoe. Like, why are you trying to teach 
and be an OnlyFans model. Like, if you're trying to be a porn star and shit, do that, man. That's why these students be fucking these teachers, man. Strong face that. Come box. Come box. I you, you see I'm solo? You see I'm solo? So, Yellow Beezy stand on business at the gym after man challenge him to a hand fight. You know niggas ain't fighting no more these days. What the hell? Come box. Come box. Come come box. I'm over here. Come on. We'll go over here right in the grass. I'm right here. So you can shoot? I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. You I'm right here. Come swing on me first. 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 See you. Come swing on me first. I see the gun in your pocket, I see the gun in your pocket. Come swing. I see the gun in your pocket, cuz. Bruh. If you confronting somebody, talking about let's fight. Like, nigga ain't trying to fight and waste time for you, man. This man yellow beezy be on ESPN and all type of shit, and you trying to run up on the man and get some clout. You feel me? Look, got the gun come in swing, your pocket. bro. Why I see the come gun swing, in your pocket, bro. boy? Come swing. I see the gun I'm in right your here, pocket. Swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here, come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here, come you swing. You I'm naked. What you mean, why I got a gun? But crackers like you, nigga. What you mean? I'm right here. Come swing. Why you, you got a gun? Me, come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me. Come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me. Come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me. Come swing. Why you Clout got a gun? Clout chaser, man. Me, come swing. Yeah, you see that? He ain't swing, gonna box nigga. a white boy because he got a gun. Swing. As soon as now I swing, you, you gonna up it. What they gotta do with you being a white boy, though? I'm pretty sure if anybody came up to him with, what the hell you doing? Trying to crash out and shit. Trying to get him to crash out. Of course he ain't gonna do it. He got way more to lose than you, bruh. Like, who cares if you white? It could be, nigga, it could be anybody. Think I'm just gonna walk up deep. Oh, yeah, let's fight, bro. Let's fight. Nigga, fuck him, dude. What I'm gonna waste my time on you for? As soon as I fuck swing, you gonna up it. You scared of a white boy. That's why you got a gun. You scared of a white boy. Come on, man. Nobody's scared of no white boy, bro. Like, the man is somebody. You're nobody. Like, you just trying to get some clout off, bro. I'm naked. You see me. You ain't naked. It's on you. I mean, your face, nigga. It's on you. Damn right, it's on him. Swing. I'm going to knock your bitch ass out. Swing. So, why you got the gun? Swing, boy. So, why you got the gun? Camera down, swing. So, why you got. So why you got the gun, man? You don't, you don't just want to fight? What like like why do you have the gun, man? Your bitch ass up. Swing and get your ass pop. That's what you asking for, right? Swing and get your ass pop, bitch. Got the gun. Put your camera down, swing. Why you got the gun? Put your camera down. And so swing. why you got the gun? Come box. Come box. I gotta do come over. You, you see I'm solo? Do, you see I'm solo? Come box. You gotta do it, come over, bro. Come box. That's how you gotta do it. Come, come box. I'm over here. Come how on. You gotta do it, come we'll over. go over here right in the grass. Man, nigga ain't finna waste a time on this nigga, man. What the hell? All right. So a new dating app requires users to have a credit score of 675 or above to join. So I guess it's just for people with good credit. So they ain't got to deal with the financial headache. Man, niggas be running up credit scores. That's going to be nothing, man. Scammers going to be all over that bitch, man. <laughs> and they ain't going to give a bitch shit. I ain't going to lie, Glorilla. You, you been everywhere since you got them titties done, girl. You done been everywhere since you got them titties done. I can see the difference. They bigger than your body, shawty. Should've just kept them little, them little titties, man. They, they was better for your body. LeBron James throwing up them devil horns. Y'all know who that boy worked for. And that ain't Jesus Christ. I wonder how them titties feel, though. That bitch probably hard. 
Who knows? AD and glow. Bro, them titties is too big, bro. Come on. <laughs> Your little body with them big titties, man. You should. I thought you wasn't going to get surgery, Glorilla. I thought you was going to keep it G, man. Trying to get sex appeal, man. We like your hard ass, man. We don't, we don't want to. We, we was cool with regular titties, man. Meek Mill say he's cutting ties with Vori after Vori's girlfriend calls him out for allegedly abusing her. This guy is not a dream chaser. He has a, what? A mental problem. We cutting ties. We don't care how your music sounds. He been ducking my calls for months. Telling people I'm threatening him. Stopped a lot of people, dude. He is not dream chaser. They said Meek Mill used to beat women. I don't know, though. That's what they say. I'm disconnected from all these wild ass people while it's lit out here. Life kind of serious. Hold your folks tight. Nigerian I, bank CEO passes away alongside wife and son in helicopter crash. Now, come on, man. I know shit happened, right? But, like, how the man gonna die in the U.S. and he from Nigeria? Like, he would have died over there coming all the way to America or something. You feel me? They killed this man. I don't know who, but they killed this man, bro. Just how they did Kobe, you feel me? They killed this man, bro. A Nigerian bank CEO. Herbert Wigwe. The CEO of Nigeria's largest bank, Access Bank, was killed in a helicopter crash that claimed six lives. Wigway's wife and son were also killed in the tragic crash. The tragic incident occurred on Friday after the helicopter departed from Palm Springs Airport in California. They was going to Nevada. Everybody died on that bitch. They say they looking into what caused the crash. Witnesses say the helicopter caught fire before crashing. They also saying it was rainy and windy. Come on, man. They capping, man. They, they off this brother. They off this brother, man. Ain't no way. They off this brother, man. It's a pattern of this type of uh, behavior from these people. You know? It's a pattern. They definitely did. You can say whatever bad words you want, but only in the bathroom, okay? Okay, in this bathroom? Yep. All right. Hi, guys. This is me, JQ. I'm going to be Spider Man. Are you finished? No. Okay. Tell me when you're done. Okay. Now, why is this bird bitch trying to have her son curse? One bad word challenge. Like, do a challenge of him spelling a word or something. Talking about one bad word challenge. It's these bird bitches, man. Look at the cat. Say whatever bad words you want. You a bird bitch, man. Talk about you could say one bad, any bad word you want. Ho. Oh, the man. I'm glad he being a child, man. Because bitches like this, man, she going to ruin this child's life, man. So this rapper, 5 year foreign, he does perks. A lot of perks, obviously. 
he said the requirements for him to stop taking perks is to give him something else to be addicted to. <sighs> These niggas fucking fools out here, man. Nigga tripping. So you want another type of drug? You can't be addicted to your craft? Niggas is All right, Jess, we got somebody on the line for you. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. It's, uh, it's your man. I wanted to call and say happy birthday. Um, Thank you. I know it's a special day for you. Um, I can't wait to no. see you. I'm so proud of you. I love that you're standing divine all the time. Oh, this Chris. And this you're Chris. You're such an amazing yes. woman. I can't wait to see you later. And then I'm so excited for our little bundle of joy as well, baby. Ah! Little bundle of what? Little what? Little bundle of joy. You uh, pregnant? Bu <laughs> All right, we don't got to act clueless now. <laughs> yeah! Hey! Chris Hilarious is pregnant! Yeah, she's pregnant! Congra Whoa. Chris, congratulations, Congrats. my brother. I definitely appreciate it. Appreciate Con congratulations, it. congratulations, my brother. Thank Jess you. Hilarious is pregnant. That's right. Yes. Yes. Prego. Yes, I am. How many I months? Pregnant. Can we ask? Yes, I am three months. So I'm 13 weeks, y'all. 13 weeks? Yes. Wow. Thank you, baby. Congrats. I love you. I love you too, baby. That boy hit the jackpot. Got just hilarious pregnant, bitch. Congrats, bruh. You hit the jackpot. About to be getting that breakfast club check. I Chris, Chris, you know what would be an amazing Valentine's Day gift? I mean, no. Uh, an engagement ring. Oh. What's wrong with you? Shut up. An engagement ring would be an amazing Valentine's gift, Chris. You don't. You see how this nigga ain't say shit? <laughs> he thought, whoa, whoa, engagement, whoa. Hey, might as well. You already got the bitch pregnant. Might as well lock it down. In case y'all get a divorce, you filed for divorce now, so she could pay that alimony, brother. <laughs> I don't know what that man's oh, doing. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, say, yeah, say worry. less. Stop say playing less. with yo, Stop playing with my Latino. <laughs> <laughs> Should have did that before you got her pregnant. <laughs> Be safe out there, Chris. Congratulations again, brother. Yes, yeah, sir. Appreciate you. I love you, baby. Love you too. I see you tonight. Baby. Love you too, baby. All right, man. <laughs> you, that's a married whoa. Minnesota mother was arrested after she allegedly slept with two teen boys after an argument with her husband. You trifling bitch. She was staying in the same hotel as a youth Colorado hockey team and let two of the team members get in bed with her while another one watched. The two boys later told, saying they were uncomfortable. Bruh, y'all already smashed this bitch. What you mean y'all uncomfortable? <laughs> man, these hoes is crazy. And these niggas, man, come on, man. Like, why y'all young... Ho and y'all hockey players. I thought y'all niggas was tough. Come on, man. It's crazy.